Hello Zero K fans, and welcome to another exhibition match. This is Shadow Fury 33 presenting a match between Anarchid and Cybernetic Pony on Flooded Valley. Now let's begin. So, Cybernetic Pony, for anyone who's watching my Akron cast, should be a familiar name. He's apparently recently started playing Zero K because of my Zero K cast. I'm not sure how to feel about that, but that's kind of cool. Because... Hey, nice to have a little bit of overlap there. So, anyway. That's Cybernetic Pony. Anarchid, of course, is Anarchid. Very skilled player. We've seen him a few times before. Likes static defenses, it seems, but frankly, he could probably go with any style. I'm guessing I just happened to see games where he went static defense. Going for hovercrafts while Cybernetic Pony is going for C, and Cybernetic Pony very quickly going for submarines while hovercrafts... Okay, I... I can't see this working well for Cybernetic Pony, honestly. It's just... Hovercrafts don't really interact with subs at all. But Hovercrafts interact with land very well, meaning the Hovercraft can just go right past the Sea Factory, right into Cybernetic Pony's base. Admittedly, one scrubber won't do the trick, but... You know, five or six scrubbers. Admittedly, a mace is coming up. Not a bad idea, but basically, a few scrubbers coming in here. The submarine will have no effect on them. And Cybernetic Pony's commander, well, at least his mechs are going to go down really quickly. The commander should survive. Well, at least he survived one scrubber. Even one mace will probably be fine, but there's really not a whole lot that Cybernetic Pony can do to defend against this with submarines. Assuming that he's not just building snakes, but that's all he has built so far is the snake. While Cybernetic, well, Anarchy on the other hand, not really queuing anything. He does have a quill coming up. His mace is finished. His scrubber is getting rid of that metal extractor, as I mentioned. It will go down after getting rid of that Metal Extractor. That is... Well, that's one Metal Extractor down. Cybernetic Pony is behind three Metal Income. Though he is able to reclaim the Scrubber for a bit of income. Really, this map is very focused around early reclaim. There's only a few early Metal Extractor spots. There's only two in the main base. But there are these rocks here for reclaim. And those... Those provide 250 Metal... That basically will refill your opening Metal Bar. These two rocks right here. The opening 500 Metal Bar. And... I think only Anarchid has taken advantage of one of them, not both of them. While Cybernetic Pony has not taken advantage of either. He is taking advantage of the trees, which is also good. He does need the energy. He is actually not morphing. I don't know if he has the energy cell on his commander yet. Anarchid, on the other hand, has morphed. He does have beam laser and energy cell. Completely standard. That's a very typical morph. And one of the observers pointing out small pathing problems on this map. I wasn't aware there was a pathing problem on this map for hovercrafts, but apparently the map is not, not quite flat enough. Scalpel's coming in to take care of anything on the land. Scalpel's being quite powerful. The rockets will be very high alpha. That's what it is. Is that they have very high initial attack damage. Against these ships, that's basically what you need. And Corvette coming in, that will actually be able to interact with the Hovercrest, but this snake will not. However, it will be able to interact with Anarchid's commander, and will be able to take it out. There's nothing Anarchid can do about this. Like I said, it doesn't interact either way, and Anarchid has no underwater weapons. There's no way of hitting underwater, and I think he's going to lose his commander. One last torpedo comes in, and gets out of the sea to kill the commander. Opening up more sea. Anakin loses his commander right away. That is a blow. At this stage in the game, he is right down to par with... Actually, he's below 720 for energy, trying to come in with maces to harass to make up for this, but he is on par for metal. Both of them producing four metal per second. But Cybernetic Pony has... Basically locked down this... Well, okay, I don't really lock down for the sea is locked down, but... On top of the sea, his... He doesn't have anything to actually stop anything from getting out. So hovercrafts can get out, no problem. But... That doesn't matter. This mace is... Going down... Actually... No, this... The scalpel doing a great job to save this mace. Or at least try to save the mace. It'll get rid of the typhoon, no problem. The mace, however, not so lucky. And no, why is the scalpel not going for the... Need to get rid of the Typhoon, quickly! I don't think it'll be reloaded. It will not reload in time! It's going down! Ouch! That is painful. Slight micromanagement failure, but... That is... That is huge. Admittedly, Anarchid does have another one coming up. Has Scrubbers as well, so he does have enough support to get rid of this. And this Scrubber should be able to finish off the Typhoon. It'll get one shot, but I think it can pull it off. It might take two, though. Anarchid not going for it, though. Looks like he's going around... Trying to harass, or possibly harass, but at the very least, just set himself up for a later harassment. And Cybernetic Pony now reclaiming these rocks. As, well, Anarchid reclaims his commander, 
Still, Saturday Pony is ahead. He does have the metal extractors on top of his commander income. On top of the reclaim. Admittedly, they're still on par for commander income plus metal extractors. Given that Saturday Pony is going entirely off commander income, that's pretty impressive. But at the same time, Anarchid does have the oversee... Well, actually, it's pretty contentious. One of these typhoons is probably going to go down, but the second typhoon is in a great spot. This scrubber gets too close. It is going to not be able to do too much. It looks like it actually did do an attack. And now Saturday Pony building up a bit of construction ships. Going to be getting some metal extractors fairly soon. On the other hand, it looks like Anarchid's focusing entirely on reclaim and not bothering with too much more metal extraction. For, I mean, he does have some constructors queued up for later on, but primarily is focused on getting some units. Halberds to tank against these and using, after that, the Scrubbers and Scalpels probably get rid of everything else. Scrubber is able to continue harassment on Cybernetic Pony's metal infrastructure to make sure that Cybernetic Pony is never quite ahead in economy, only on par and only because of the commander. Also getting rid of one of the power plants, nicely done there. Unfortunately, one of the Scrubbers will be going down, possibly both. No, well, four of them coming in here are dealing a fair amount of damage and making good use of collisions to avoid getting killed. But still going down, this Sea Factory got repaired quite nicely by Cybernetic Pony. His command repaired it nicely, and more constructors coming out. Like I said, the Quill was queued up. The Halberd here should be able to tank against these Typhoons pretty well, but unfortunately, both Scalpels were destroyed. So if it can take the hits against the Typhoon and be in Hold Fire mode, which it is not in Hold Fire mode, so it will end up shooting and it will end up losing its armor bonus. But if it does go into Hold Fire mode, then it will be able to just tank the damage. If that Typhoon continues to target it, then the Scrubbers will actually have a chance, though the Scalpel is really what you need to make. He is getting maces, also not a bad idea, but against ships, I I could see it working, but I could see it being a really tough thing to make work well, compared to scalpels, just because scalpels have the range, they can come in, pop in, run away, Halberd keeps tanking, mace needs to stay in range in order to continue dealing damage, because of that beam weapon. Cybernetic Pony getting up his metal extraction, and now has double the, well, okay, mostly from reclaim, but yeah, it does, does have reliably the same metal income as Anarchid with Reclaim. Anarchid well is Reclaiming, so he's double the normal income. And he also has a map hack, basically. He knows what Anarchid is up to the entire time. He knows what's up. And Cybernetic Pony still has more Reclaim in his base. He should take advantage of that. He's going to be able to build this up faster if he does so. Unit now, Halbert actually coming around. It's going for harassment, not for tanking. While the Mace is going for direct damage... It can tank decently well. Unfortunately, the Scrubbers are not close enough to the Mace to distract that Typhoon, and Cybernetic Pony can continue to deal enough damage to... Well, actually, destroy Anarchid's entire on-sea army. That Mace doing a decent job dealing damage, but it's not enough. It is doing a great job distracting, but the Scrubber did not get in in time. I don't think he'll be able to deal any damage. No, it will not. That Scrubber goes down without dealing any additional damage. Another Mace coming up, but with five metal income, everything's building at half speed for Anarchid. In the factory, normally he's trying to build at 10 metal per second. This quill doing what it can, but it's not going to help. There's not enough income. If stuff gets reclaimed, although admittedly there's really no way out. Cybernetic Pony has a nice little blockade going on. Halber doing what it can, and is doing a good job harassing, keeping Cybernetic Pony's economy from growing too large. That's all Anarchid really needs to do. I mean, all he needs to do is try to find some way of expanding his economy while keeping Cybernetic Pony's economy down. If Cybernetic Pony's economy stays below Anarchid's, he still has a chance. It'll be a slow game. But Anarchid might still have a chance. However, Saturday Pony is just building up more and more of a blockade. I could see maybe Scalpel's getting away with this, getting away with killing all this, but given the military advantage, I don't think Saturday Pony is going to have a hard time winning this game. I think Anarchid's basically just prolonging the inevitable. I mean, granted, he is doing what he can with Overdrive, trying to get what energy he can to get his metal up faster. But even then, it's not quite enough. This mace going down to Typhoons, it will not be able to take out the Typhoon. It's trying its best. And actually, the, the Light Laser Turret will be able to finish off the Typhoon. Just barely as it leaves range, gets rid of that Typhoon. So it's one down. Still, those Typhoons are making costs. We can see this one's actually made costs double by the Veterancy. Cybernetic Pony is doing a great job with his army and has been economically ahead or on par for most of this game ever since destroying Anarchid's commander. Now, of course, the reclaim is still going in Anarchid's favor, but Anarchid losing... That's his own units he's reclaiming. He does have this Typhoon he can reclaim. However, trying to do that will cause his quill to be destroyed. All of his quills to be destroyed... 
One of them can run away, the first one here is dead, but the last two do have a chance to get out of the way. And Cybernetic Pony wisely avoiding the light laser turrets. Halberd in place, trying to make sure it'll harass if it needs to. Wisely avoiding attacking, but it's... It is in a whole fire mode, good. And a great position to attack the commander. Unfortunately, the commander has a shotgun. Cybernetic Pony has upgraded it to shotgun and armor. And that will scare away that Halberd. And this Mariner will do nothing to it. So actually, the Mariner could go down. I think defenses will be coming in. I think this Typhoon will come in to deal with the Mariner. Or the Mariner will run away. That doesn't work. The Halberd's too fast. Cybernetic Pony, you need to get defenses in here. There we go. There they come. And Anarchid continue to build up. Not a bad distraction. And like, I can see what he's doing. Like I said, he's getting more power generators, trying to make sure that he has enough power to go with, to overdrive his metal extractors. But even with that overdrive, it's not that much. He's only making, well, six metal or so total. Another Typhoon coming in here, being very bold, getting in range of the laser turret. Actually, one of these is going to, well, it could go down. It's getting pretty close, but I think it might be able to take out the laser turret before. One of them does go down. The second one, it's pretty close. I think it'll go down before the laser turret does. But it might just be close. It actually, it's both. There we go. Simultaneous destruction. Laser turret going down and taking the Typhoon with it. But two more Typhoons coming in. I think Anarch is going to throw in the towel at this point. He has no military right now. And he's got crippled economy. Separating Pony is now able to really take advantage of his map control. Able to start building up metal extractors. Able to start building up... Well, he already has military going. But his military is now building up at full speed for the factory. Building 10 metal per second. And... He's already got map control. I think there's not much more that can be done here. And one of the observers pointing out that if you terraform down here, you could just send in the forces right in the middle of the base. Just terraform, bring in a mariner, terraform all this down to sea level, and then just glide the ships right in to tear everything else apart. That's not a bad idea. And it looks like that is not in the plan. Nope, looks like Cybernetic Pony is just going to continue with his blockade. He is getting a Crusader, and that looks like how he's going to try to end the game. I believe Crusaders have a long enough artillery range. I know I hate to say that, sounding very ignorant, but C is not to be used very often in 0K, so it's not the easiest thing to memorize as well as the other unit types. You don't see it as often as you'd like, or as I'd like. I do quite like C combat in games. Well, I like the concept of having C combat. It's difficult to implement well, because you really have it mutually exclusive with land and... I mean, a map like this, this is obviously very C-dominant. Hovercrafts can do pretty well. Amphibious bots are interesting. But it's either you have C-dominate or C can't really do too much. It's very difficult to have C work with land. Anyway, Mace coming in, trying to take out these Typhoons and cannot. The Quill is going down as well. Anarchid, really, I don't know why he did that. Like I said, I'm not sure why he's going for Maces. He does have a Scalpel. Okay, I was about to say he should be getting a Scalpel. I don't know why he's not getting more Scalpels. The cost of them... I mean, maces are almost twice the cost of scalpels. I do not know why he is going almost... Or, well, half and half now from the look of his Q. Yeah, infinite build, half and half. But he's still doing it weird. And from here we have... Well, we have a Crusader and a Typhoon coming. So Typhoons, Crusaders, Mariners coming in for Cybernetic Pony. He does have himself building up, like I said, his end game. This, is, this Crusader is basically going to beat everything that Anarchid has. Anarchid is getting a gunship plant, but way too slowly. He has a quarter of the economy that Cybernetic Pony has. Really, it's just a matter of Cybernetic Pony bringing this Crusader in and winning. Anarchid has nothing to respond to this. This is going to be... the game. Or it very likely is. There is a small chance, but very unlikely, and there we go. The Crusader is tearing everything apart from the sea. And Anarchid throws in the towel. Realizes the power of gunship diplomacy and decides to surrender. So, hope you enjoyed that. I will have another match coming up shortly, so stay tuned.